Hey, y'all. Grand Rising. Let's see what does the collective need to receive today. Let's see. Okay, we have here acceptance. Let me show you how to see that. Okay. Somebody's having to accept something, uh, a situation. We have destiny. Yeah. They're having to accept that um, somebody has, like, you know, a mission to fulfill here. You know, you have a higher calling. You have, you have something here with destiny. And we have renewal. Okay. And then we have here acceptance. That can make people insecure around you. Okay. It could be like you see how how this image here, this uh this person they're growing. You know this is like symbolic of birth. Also, again like a renewal. You know somebody's growing here, and you see how this person is there looking at them like who the fuck you think you are? You think you the shit because you 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 know you spiritual now. Like you think you you popping. You think you popping because you eating better and you're getting healthier and you're growing and you're ascending. <laughs> You know, <clears throat> so yeah, with empaths, you know, they could low key be wanting to like block that, you know, their envy. And this came out in yesterday's general reading as well about these people that are around you that are envious of you. Yeah, bittersweet, you know, like they're bitter, okay, that you are ascending. And with acceptance, maybe both of y'all are having to accept it, you know, you probably wanting to see the good in others, you know, you don't want to believe it, but it is really happening. All right. You have people around you that you, you make them feel insecure. All right. These are people who are low vibrational with this devil energy right here. They have a lot of healing to do. All right. You know, the devil energy is low vibrational energy. So they have to work on themselves. They have to heal. They have to love themselves. Okay. They need to, work on their insecurities because it stems from something much deeper all right it's not just you but because you are not like dumb and you are working on yourself and you are healing and you're raising your vibration and you're trying to do better and be better and get on your on your path that makes them feel some type of way all right because they don't have the initiative or they don't have you know the desire to change you know so that that that's basically like your light is irritating these people's demons and um consciously or subconsciously with that impasse you know like they low-key want to block you they don't want you to move forward and this moon is getting my attention here so they could be even doing moon magic all right we're gonna see what else comes out but that's what i'm getting like these people definitely uh or this person whoever they are you know they just have to accept that you have a destiny you have a higher calling you have something to do that's much bigger than them and it is what it is yeah look victim See, they can't be playing the victim. They, 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 they have to understand that God has a plan. Yeah, look, completion. They have to understand that this cycle is over. All right, and maybe again, take it how it resonates. Maybe you as well have to accept the situation for what it is, and and also accept that it's uh, it's over. All right, but these people cannot be playing victim. Okay, so with isolation. I feel like it's telling you definitely, you know, focus on you now, okay? It's time to isolate. It's time to heal. I feel like they don't like that, that you're doing that. You know, that came out with the uh, with the completion card, you know? They don't like that you are closing out this cycle with this person and isolating, you know, and focusing on you. Let's see what else. Yeah, I told you, they don't like that. You see, they don't like that you are in this energy of joy, happiness, healing, leveling up. That makes them feel some type of way with grief. See what I'm saying? And you see how this one is like radiant, you know? This one looks drained, tired. You know what I'm saying? See the night and day, like big difference here. So these people, they just have to work on themselves. Okay, that's not your problem. So with mysticism, that's what I was getting with this uh, impasse. It could even be 
you know, black magic involved here. But let's see if it comes out. So we have forgiveness. Uh, I feel like we're already saying forgive them. You know, this is a growing experience for you, a learning experience for you to learn from, for you to grow from. Yeah, expansion. See what I'm saying? You're growing, you're learning from the situation. So I just finished through it. It's like just wanting you to continue to persevere, continue to move forward on your on your purpose, okay, on your journey. Um, don't let these people hold you back, okay? Um, and just accept it. Accept that this is part of the the path. It's part of the journey, okay? So let's pull some cards here. So we have power here as soon as I picked it up. And I feel like that's what you're doing, you know. You're standing in your power now. You're working on yourself. And there's like crabs in a bucket type of energy. Like these people around you, because they're not doing that. They don't want you to do it either. And like I said, you know, it doesn't have to be obvious. It could be something that's, you know, them unknowingly, you know. Like they're just, they're saying things, you know, that is not in alignment with your journey, with where you're going. You know, they're probably giving you bad advice. Um, you know, or just making things hard, you know, depends on the situation. And we have, again, forgiveness, soul forgiveness here. So a lot of forgiveness is coming out, you know, like I just feel it's like really just telling you here, look, we have 28, uh, that's 10. So 10 closing out a cycle again, completion it's over, you know, just forgive them, forgive them for their shortcomings, forgive them for uh, whatever type of manipulation they were trying to do to hold you back. You know, like just understand that's all part of the process. We have to experience these type of people before we ascend because they're they're working with the devil. You know, just like I saw the devil earlier. They, they're here to hold us back. They're here to test us, you know, to see if we are going <clears> to <throat> persevere. All right. You see how my throat chakra just acted up right now to see if we are. Yeah, exactly. If we're going to persevere on our purpose. Yep. Like I said, you have a destiny. Man, why is this so dark? It says, I know what I'm here to do. Okay. So again, like you have a destiny, a purpose. You know what you're here to do. Your soul remembers that you have, you have something to do here, you know, and, it's, and it don't have nothing to do with these people. So you're trying to follow your inner compass. You're trying to listen to your intuition. And these people are meant to try to block you because you have a higher calling. Like, you know, it's a big deal here. The matrix doesn't want you to follow you follow your purpose, you know, they don't want you to do that. They don't want you to, to be out here helping others and helping others heal and shit like that. Like you're going against the matrix. So these type of people are set up to do this, to try to block you, try to hold you back. And yes, it could be your friends, your family, your lovers. Okay. Or all of them all together. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's normal. All right. You're not the only one going through that. We all go through it. Okay. So we have purpose and voyage. So again, you know, like you're going on this voyage, this inner voyage, this this journey here, all right? And um, that's their, you know, that's their job to try to block you, okay? Let's see what else we got. So you're supposed to, you know, overcome, yeah, when you find the opportunity, when you get the opportunity from God to, to change, you know, to, to take another route, you absolutely take the opportunity, all right? And don't let nobody hold you back. Yeah, moving on. See what I'm saying? It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. Okay. Six is uh, giving me like uh, six of cups in tarot, which is uh, the past. Yeah, that was full of obstacles and challenges, you know. And number five, it's time for change. It's time to, uh, to take another route here. Yep, because with the magician, you are manifesting your, your wishes, you know, the life that you want. But in order for you to reach that life that you want, you know, or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you have to let these, these, these people go here. You know, God is not going to get you to your abundance with people like this. Okay. They don't deserve it. They didn't earn it. And on top of that, they really low key hating on you. Okay. So with the high priest and the magician, you are definitely tapped in and you are definitely manifesting your best life. Okay. You just need to follow the guidance, listen to spirit, Keep moving forward and let go of the energies that are trying to cling on to you or trying to, uh, you know, purposely uh, block you, you know, by giving you bad advice, talking shit about your journey, your journey, you know, trying to to distract you, trying to, you know, just trying to just just trying to block you. OK, it's going to be in different ways for everybody because it's different situations, but you are definitely 
creating your best life, okay? You could be a high priest or a high priestess, okay? Yeah, you just have to believe. That's what you're doing. You're believing, and you having this belief is what's helping you, all right? It's helping you uh, to get to the life that you want. Wow, and I just said high priest, and we have the high priestess, okay? So, yeah, I just said that too. Like I said, collective, we have the masculine and the feminines here. You are a high priestess. You are tapped in with God, okay? High priest, you're tapped in, all right? Some of y'all could have been seeing hawks, or you're going to see hawks or bird feathers, all right? So let me pull from here. So basically, you know, just don't feel bad walking away from these energies, okay? These people. They don't serve you any longer, and it is what it is. You got important things to be dealing with, okay? Yeah, look, we have here, my happiness is my responsibility. It's not dependent on others. Exactly. You don't need these people to be happy. You don't need these people to move forward, all right? You have God, all right? God is helping you. God is guiding you. Yeah, just saw little by little. You're getting there little by little. Yep, isolate. So again, more co confirmation that spirit wants you to spend some time alone so you could heal, you could recharge, all right? Regroup. We have stalking your social media to see if the black magic is working. So then I say moon magic, like that moon kept coming out. It kept getting my attention here. Right there. All right. So they definitely was doing something. We just had a full moon. So they probably was trying to do something to hold you back or some shit. Um, we have here walk by faith, not by sight. And what you focus on uh, expands. So stay focused. Okay. And yeah, exactly. Don't focus anymore on these people. That's what Spirit keeps saying to forgive and, and let go. All right. You're going from rags to riches. Okay. Because you're out here doing what you got to do. Mm-hmm. You're going to go from overlooked to overbooked. If you have, if some of y'all, if you have like a business, you have services, all right? You're going to be going from overlooked to overbooked. You are growing. You are ever growing and becoming who you need to be. Yeah, you're moving forward. So just continue to, to, to walk by faith, all right? You're, you're being guided here. Yeah, just so I have faith that all is well. Exactly. Everything is all good. That's what Spirit is saying, to focus on that. You know, what you focus on expands. Don't focus on the past anymore. Don't focus on, you know, anything. Just focus on you and moving forward. We have, even if you cannot see it, it's all working out for you. Trust it. All right? Exactly. Spirit is guiding you. Trust it. because it's, it's, it's happening. Yep. And here we go. I have faith that all is well. Let me see what fell over here. Uh, the universe conspires to help me succeed. Exactly. That's what Spirit is saying. Like, it's all working out for you. Trust it. Okay. We have here. If at first you don't succeed, you can dust it off and try again. Wow, that's so funny. Succeed twice. Okay. If it didn't work out the last time, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out this time. Okay. Um, I am assertive when I need to be. So, yes, be assertive when it comes to these energies. Okay. Uh, you are in alignment. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, uh, you are right. You are right about these people. All right, you are right about this journey. You are supposed to get on this journey. All right, but look, you are right about these people. They tried to destroy your image. See what I'm saying? They try to destroy your image. They was doing some type of moon magic, trying to you know just just hold you back in different ways. Like I said, for everybody is different. But spirit is saying replace fear with faith and trust as you move forward. Okay. Don't have any doubts. Don't have any fears. You are on the right path. You are right about these people. So now that you have all the information that you need to move forward, go ahead and do it. Yeah, I just saw that there was a lesson in this situation. And that's what it is. These karmics, we're supposed to learn from them. And we need to move forward. All right? Learn how to stand your ground. Learn how to uh, let it flow. Exactly. How to let it go when you need to. How to move forward when you need to. You know, you don't want to become dependent on these people. And um, you needed to just learn about people like this, you know, who are low vibrational, who are jealous and secure. It could be people that you least expect that was, you know, not really supporting you the way you thought. All right. So you live and you learn. So that was the message. I'm out. Peace.